Hey, we're finding mean standard deviation of our height and radius values in Google Sheets for the Monte Carlo Nickel Lab. So I have here the data I've collected. I have trials 1 through 10, and I have the height that I got for each nickel for each trial and the diameter. So we want to find the mean value for height and the mean value for radius. So we don't have the radius. We know that it's the diameter divided by 2, so we can make a make a uh, column for that and we don't have to divide each one by two ourselves because we're using Google Sheets so it's got spreadsheet functions remember that when you type whatever, whichever cell you click on is the cell that you're typing in but this FX line is where you're typing <clears throat> up here in the top so if we want to use equations in Excel we have to start with an equal sign and this radius is going to be the diameter divided by 2. It's going to change for each trial. So for the first one, I can put an equals. I can click on the cell that has the diameter for this trial, and I can divide by 2. When I hit Enter, the value will pop up. Now, I could do equals and then click again for the next one and divide by 2. Of course, it works. But in Excel, we have spreadsheet functionality we have little things so this plus that shows up when you're in the bottom right corner if you drag it down it'll bring your formula down and see if I click on any of them our f of x in the top uh, if I click on any of them you see it goes down a row each time because we're switching which diameter so Google Sheets does this itself if you drag the formula down so now we have height values and radius values, and we want to find the mean and standard deviations on those. So let's put a row for the means and a row for the standard deviation. Awesome. So the mean on the height, to do this, we're going to do it. It's like um, a formula, but now we're going to use what's called a function in Excel. And there it is, it pops right up actually. So equals, and if we type in average, we're going to find the mean or the average of some group of data. So I can highlight now the whole group of data. You can see there's a range here, and that's the range of cells I just chose. So we're going to find the average of that range. If I click enter, out comes the average, or the mean. So we can do the same thing we did before with the plus tool, and we can drag it to the right this time. And instead of our numbers changing, see we have B2 to B11, now we'll have that the letter changes because we're changing column. So that little plus, this one that shows up, um, is a really helpful piece of Google Sheets. To find standard deviation, we're going to do something very similar. There's a Excel, there's a Google Sheets function for that, but there are actually a lot. There are actually a lot of standard deviations. So, in this class, what we're going to be most interested in is the standard deviation of an entire population, and the standard deviation of a sample of a population. So that's dot s and dot p. Now, if we had the radius and the height of every nickel in existence, we could use this standard deviation of an entire population. That's not what we have. Instead, we have a 10 nickel sample. So we're going to use the standard deviation of a sample formula or function. So we do the same thing here. We're going to highlight a range. And this is what we're taking the standard deviation of. Click Enter, and our number pops up. And we can do the same thing with the plus and bring it to the right and now we have standard deviation on all three of these values our diameter mean and standard deviation we don't really need but we have it if we wanted it we have what we do want which is the mean and standard deviation of our height and the mean and standard deviation of our radius and we found it using Google Sheets functions this concludes this video